Hey yo bros and mofos, what the hell is going down? We are on State of Decay 2. Boy, this game is a lot more than I expected it to be. Especially with the fact that it is uh, multiplayer. The four people. Oh crap. Oh my god. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't good at all. And I'm out of stamina, dude. This is not good. Alright, those guys, you want to watch out for those guys. I think they're called feral zombies. Um, anyway, I'm going to get back inside. That was really risky because this guy needs to sleep. And uh, he's pretty low on health. So, anyway, dudes, I want to show you guys. Uh, I want to start showing you guys some things here on State of Decay 2. Uh, kind of tutorial-like videos like you might be used to on the channel. How to do this. Uh, how to do that. And being that my guy needs to be healed... Uh, and he needs to get some sleep. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, make your character sleep. So if you look to the left, uh, down by my map, in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see my stamina bar, or energy bar, which is the blue one, is all the way low, and it's not recharging. Uh, I'm going to turn this generator on just for the hell of it, so I can see when I go inside. Uh, but that has nothing to do with sleeping. You don't have to have a generator to sleep, so... Uh, I think it takes a few seconds. Anyway, so uh, on my stamina bar, you see a little orange icon that's basically telling you he needs to sleep. So whenever you see that, your stamina just really starts to suck overall. Um, it's not recharging right now, stuff like that. Now you can go to your kitchen and craft some coffee under Make Consumables. This coffee restores your stamina and gets like all the way up. Uh, but whenever it drains after like one or two times uh, the sleep symbol comes back up So it's like a temporary fix. It's not quite as good as getting your character some rest. So um, Yeah, so there's that anyway, so to sleep I wonder did the did The generator come on Yeah, I don't know. I thought the generator started. Maybe... Maybe not. It doesn't look like there's any lights on. Anyway. Oh, well. Let's just go find a bed. Uh, just moved to this base not too long ago. I'm not sure what day we're on here. Or how to even check that yet. I wonder, is there a way to see how many like days you've been going so far? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we just moved to a new base, so I'm not familiar with this uh, layout or where the rooms are. But to get some sleep, all you have to do is walk up to these beds, click Y to view beds. I'm on Xbox One. I'm guessing it's triangle for PS4. I'm not sure what it is for console. Uh, and then you click on Actions, Change Characters. Once you click on this, it pulls up this menu, which is your Community tab menu, and your Select screen. And uh, you just click what character you want to change to. So instead of finding the room with the beds and going up to the bed, you could from anywhere just click select, go over to your community tab, and it's the same thing. You click on a character, you can check out their stats, and then you can take control of them by clicking X. And uh, so you don't have to go up to a bed because anytime you're another character, uh, the characters that you're not using are able to gain uh, their like rest back up, their energy, and they're good to go. Now, I, if I switch out of Holbrook, which is who I am now, uh, just because he gets rest doesn't mean he's going to heal. So, what I like to do before I send him to rest, I like to use the infirmary and go ahead and heal my character with the medical help treat active character that fixes his health and then I'll switch to somebody else say like Logan I think I have a sniper on Logan oh and I can specialize so 
So if I take control of Logan, Logan's fully healed. He's rested up. He's ready to go. I uh, have a gun on him. Just a simple pistol. A nice backpack. Oh, a thing about the backpacks, too. I've noticed um, there are two different eight-slot backpacks. One is the hiking pack that I have here. And the other one is, uh, I think it's called, like, heavy backpack or something. I'm not sure. Uh, the difference is they're both eight slot, but this hiking backpack here, it's like four pounds lighter than the other one. And it also gives you more pockets down here. I think the other one has two pockets. This one has three pockets. So it's basically uh, an eight, 10, 11 slot backpack compared to the other one, which is like truly a like 10 slot, I guess. But uh, anyway, I think that's all you need to know about sleeping. Now, I did want to test something out. Oh my god, we're going to overran in here. Anyway, let me dodge out of them. We are getting... This is a full on... Oh, this is a siege. I didn't even notice we're doing a siege right now. I didn't even have a gun out. I have a pistol. I did not know a siege was coming. Jesus. Oh, we've got something. We've got a screecher in the back, I think. Oh, let me open this and get this guy. Yeah, so... If you guys haven't heard about State of Decay 2 yet, it is free on the Xbox Game Pass. I'm not sure what deals they're doing for PS4. I haven't checked that yet. Oh, there's another horde over here. Uh, I'm on, I don't know what day I'm on, like I said. I've only been playing, I just started playing it yesterday. So I've probably gotten about at least 12 hours of playtime in so far. And I have accrued so many vehicles. Uh, this is my second base. You can only have one base at a time and additional outposts as you upgrade your base. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what happened to the generator. Anyway, I did want to test a theory on the... I'm pretty sure I started it, did I not? Is it not started? I don't, I don't understand. Usually whenever you start the generator... It turns on all the lights in the house, but for some reason that is not happening. I see, it looks like this light might be on. Maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, the theory I want to test about sleeping is can you switch characters if you're away from the base? I know you can at other outposts, but I'm not sure if you can uh, if you're not at an outpost. I'm assuming you cannot, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to test it anyway, just because I have nothing better to do right now. And uh, it is getting harder and harder, so if anybody wants to join in and play, even though I might be off mic most of the time, um, it'd still be cool to have some help with some of these houses if any of you guys want to play. Just search for my gamer tag on Xbox Live. It's the same as my username. Okay, so I think I'm far enough away from the base to test this. I'm just trying to get away from some of these zombies. I think this is a good enough spot right here. Alright, so can I switch from out here to Vonda? Take control. Logan is a vehicle occupant. Okay, so if I get out of the car... Then can I switch? Return to base or an outpost to switch characters. Okay, so that confirms what I thought uh, would happen if you tried to switch. So you have to have an outpost. So what I like to do is spread my outposts out as far as I can uh, with my given resources across the map. So that if I'm exploring on one side of the map, I can use the... Uh, let's see, where am I at? Oh, okay, I'm on the right road. Anyway, if I'm exploring on the other side of the map, that way I can use the uh, supply locker over there 
to kind of just continuously loot and loot and uh, just store some of the uh, the rucksacks and different trunks and stuff around the area and park them all at the outpost and then unload all of the uh, rucksacks at once back at the main base but it's really useful also for switching characters if a character needs sleep and you maybe you don't have any uh, coffee or anything because you definitely do not want to take on like a house like clearing an infestation or uh, some hordes or anything like that if you're low on stamina it just sucks you can't really swing that much you're not gonna be able to dodge to get out of a sticky situation you're not gonna be able to sprint around and if you're low on ammo then you're definitely gonna need all of those things so uh, anyway I think that's it for sleeping that's I mean like I said I just started playing I'm just trying to share something of like some of the stuff that I've learned with you guys so I think that's all there is to sleeping, uh, at least from what I've learned so far. So if you guys know anything else that you guys want to share about how to sleep or anything else that has to do with energy or stamina, just put it down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for more State of Decay 2 videos. And if you're new to the channel, go check out my ARC videos for admin commands over there. And uh, maybe if State of Decay ever adds admin commands, I can show you guys how to do that over here too, because I'm really liking this game. Uh, anyway, dudes, I will catch you guys on the flip flop.